Andy, thank you very much indeed. What an atmosphere. You know, put politics on the back burner. Tonight, it's all about pool. We've got the United States against a united Europe trying to keep the cup on this side of the Atlantic for a ninth consecutive year. Who would have thought that when this fine tournament began in the mid-90s? Well, I remember, Phil, in 2005, that's the second and last time that I participated. We played in Vegas, and really, I have to admit, we didn't feel like ready? having a yeah. chance to, okay, win the cup, to win the trophy in the year after, in, 20, in 2006. Johan Ruysen kept in Europe, and that's when the momentum change uh, commenced. The last time Alexandra Palace held this event, Jason Shaw potted the final ball, and after winning the leg, he's going to play the first shot two years on. So Niels Feijer to break first, just like two years ago. But then Settle down there, he made a foul. First drag, and with ball in hand, Sky Europe to break. failed to run Alternate out. Alternate breaks. Hush descends before a thundering break. So, corner ball down the one has sunk. The question is whether there's a clear path to the two ball. He cannot pocket the two. A lot of pressure out there, especially for Team USA, I suspect, because it's in 2012 that Push they, for call. the last time, have won a session. They really want to start well on day one. And in your preamble, Alex, you talked about a lot of stats. I think this is the most telling. The USA are trying to win here in Europe for the first time since 2004. Start they the retained the cup 60 seconds, please. in 2006 with a 12-all draw, but they haven't won here. It's been ages. I've been speaking to Johan, and he's very content with the process that he has gone through with his team. And as he mentioned, the USA players have beaten the Europeans in the past few tournaments. So in the US Open, Skylar and Shane finishing third and fourth in front Extension of the European hold. players. At the Euro Tour in the Netherlands, three Americans in the last eight. And Shane winning the final against Kachi, coming back from 5 0 down. Now that's what the Americans need the famed shot making of Shane Van Boning, who needs to play as well in a team environment here as he does individually. A little bit unlucky gluing that cue ball to the short rail after the bank on the two ball. Every ball potted, certainly by the Europeans, greeted with a lusty cheer. Needs a quality stroke here on the five. A lot of spin and little speed combined with the pressure of the opening wreck, the Moscone Cup. It's no mean feat. down on that one not sure whether it was going to go in or not I thought for a moment he'd undercut it but he just about sneaked in yeah that's what they do just about do enough <laughs> four time MVP in the Moscone Cup he didn't make the team last year he was coming back from an injury then he won the World Pool Masters he won the Kremlin Cup in Moscow he's back at the top 
as Shamat said on the opening night at the banquet yesterday, the backbone of Team Europe. Yes, over the years he's been the MMVP, multiple most valuable player. And now flying on the verge of giving Europe the very early lead. Someone shouted out on his backswing, but he got up, it made no difference. Immune to being put off. Europe won, USA no. side of USA he's playing very well in all the practice sessions he's beating Shane actually playing very well and that's the thing Phil I think could help Shane if Shane feels like his teammates can carry the weight together he'll be relieved somewhat yes that man knows he can't plough a lone furrow, he has to have all the support in the world. So he's looking at the 5-7 Skyler, what to do with it, opening up, promoting the 5 off of the 2 ball is a possibility, but difficult to control the cue ball. So now off of the 4, straight with a bit of backspin or with high right he pocketed the four balls somewhat thick that's why he missed the five ball now he's looking at the five seven combination Needs a very thin contact on the five. Extension cold. Juggling with his chalk there. We cannot overemphasize the level of tension out there. Well, he finished third in the US Open. He's been playing really well, got to the last eight in the Euro Tour. He can do this. Fine cut. That's in. That's in. That was part one of the recovery. One more good shot needed. Because okay, he's asking Shane what the natural path of the cue ball is. Does it travel towards the side pocket or not? Very well makeable, the cut shot on the six. The difficulty is manipulating the cue ball. Skyra Woodward sets himself up, sets his team up for the first point on the board. The Americans are reaching for the sky here, and they've reached for the sky there. And he's come up with the goods on level terms. USA! USA! 
Yeah, break and run by Skylar Woodward, getting that first point on the board. Compare that to two years ago when he failed to capitalize on Fayan's mistake in the red in that particular rack. Thank you, rack three. You up to break. Now Albanus to break, a former MVP in the Moscone Cup. Great for the music, it's Former world champion, China Open winner. Settle down then, please. World Cup of Pool winner together with Mario He. He will be watching this. He will be in Team Europe in the future, that's for sure. Rack three, Ocean's break. Purpose driving the cue ball to the long rail instead of squatting at center table. But there's no shot on on the two ball. That's the key ingredient to play run out pool, getting shape after the break, seeing the lowest number ball. Push out called. Regardless of the result, Alex, this is a poignant occasion for Albin Auschen. In September, Push out towards call. the end of the qualifi qualification process, his father, Albin Auschen Sr., passed away. But he got the wild card call up from Captain Marcus Schumacher. Clock, please. 60 he's seconds. Give the clock, please. Everything he's got. So. Billy Thorpe at the table, deciding whether to play or to give it back. He's a well, there's no, not really a bank on. I don't think he can attack the bank and defend the cue ball. Yeah, smart little shot. Didn't snooker the two ball, but at least he has held the initiative. You'd rather not give back the table to your opponent. And this is not easy to play a tight defense from here. Either attack the ball or play containing safety. Sure, a nice pot on the two. You know, Alex, when he got the news that he was going to be in the team again, Aushin wrote on Facebook, that one's for you, Dad. Hope you've got Stand Sky Sports call. up there. Well, we do too. Playing with so much heart and so much motivation. Now open up that four ball. He's not guaranteed to have a shot. And it's so slick, this cloth, in this setting. So in order for the spin to bite into the rail, you need to limit the speed. He overhit that shot. Billy Thorpe. He'll let it ride here. Make sure at least to contact the ball. In the previous cups, too often, Team USA was handing ball in hand. Please give yourself a chance to get lucky. Well, pace and side spin judged to perfection there by Ashen. It's 
yielded the desired result. A little too thick. Three-quarter ball, half ball, quarter ball hit. And many good things could have happened. It's not a shoe-in to dish the table from here. But he played that first shot nicely. So from here, his favorite, favorite to get to the nine. Now he can choose to either leave the cue ball close to the long rail and then go around the angles from the six to the eight, or travel to center table from here. Bear in mind, this is one safe pair of hands when the event was held here at the Alexandra Palace two years ago. He was the MVP. Yeah, he was so strong in his first cup as if he was born and bred to play in it. Applauded, lauded by his teammates. A little bit of composure. marginally closer to the side cushion than he would have wanted but he's still an overwhelming favorite to pot it yeah! and in she goes Alvin Ashen comes good and Europe go back in front in this team match to kick off the Moscone Cup it's 2-1 41 years of age, Corey Jewell. He's played 47 matches in the Moscone Cup. He's won 27 of them. It's a pretty good record. Taking all the time he can now. He's already looking at the required angle to go from the five to the six, and something has happened. Smiles all around. He's on the wrong side of the four. Can hold the cue ball. Oh, that's a good stroke. That's a good stroke. Initially left out of the USA squad, but when Dennis Hatch dropped out of the squad, Jewel got back in and on trips to Russia and Holland, he impressed everyone. There's no doubting his experience. Yeah, and he has handled it well in this rack. Still three balls left though. Johan Ruysink will let out a sigh of relief. He needs all his men to perform. So, Shaw failed to make contact on the one, jumping the cue ball. And Corey has capitalized. Leveling the score, 2-0. Yes, Alex, and although it's a, a small
the Europeans. Two, two. Alexander Kizakis from Greece. Over the next four days, he would love to be Alexander the Great. Too many, he's the big unknown. But he's a very solid player, European champion, Euro Tour winner, winner of the Kremlin Cup. And now resides a lot in, in the USA, New Jersey, with his girlfriend. And he just had three back to back wins in the States. He's a very solid player. But how will do he do here in the Moscone Cup? The bump on the five creates a little more positional margin to get on the four, but he's straight on the three and close to the rail. This is far from easy. And it's likely he'll need to leave an angle on the four. Extension called. And then subsequently the eight could cause him trouble to go up and down off from the four ball. Double speed. And playing it like this, he eliminated the chance of under hitting the stroke. And in doing so, he has landed perfectly on the four. No need to go back and forth. in math he must have thought it was going to stay on the table <laughs> and there again needing the whole margin of the pocket it's lucky to make the ball but he did put a trace of unwanted spin on the ball. A sign of pressure. Yes, on his debut, he's feeling it, but that's entirely understandable. run on his debut yes, Bobby. for the third time in this introductory team match Team Europe hit the front, it was 1-0, it was 2-1, and now, thanks to Alexander Kazakis, it is 3-2. Oh, point on the board for Kazabubu. We did not get to see the other rookie play, Tyler Steyer. We'll see him in the third match of tonight, and the man that he beat in the recently played International Open. what can happen at top level tool sometimes you simply don't get a shot literally we keep talking about this Alex but the atmosphere here at the Alexandra Palace is second to none these guys must be in dreamland playing in front of so many people yeah this is you know what they play for what they practice for and even a player like Niels a veteran on the European side 
he looks forward to it for the last six weeks. Two months, it's, it's such a big buildup. He can never get used to the intensity, the enormity that the Moscone Cup is. When the event began, who would have thought it would de develop into Thank you, this kind six. of a USA to break, trailing two racks to three. So, back to the first players, Fein against Shane van Boning. They met in the final in Gibraltar, the final of the World Pool Masters, where Niels Fein played so well. It was his first championship after a long-term injury. Good break by Shane. Good position on the one. The one, two, three, yellow, blue, red will be the difficulty. The three doesn't have so many pockets to play to. It's not since long that Shane is using the carbon shaft, but it has really upped his game. It's even more precise, has even become better over the past 10 months. Shook his head at that positional shot, though. Tight on the cushion, couldn't do an awful lot with the cue ball as a consequence. There's a path for the three ball in between the five and six. To the corner. Low left, and drift over to the four. Pocketed the ball, but he misplayed his tip position. Didn't strike the cue ball low enough, but he just held it. Final cut. Go back and forth. Tells us this tells us that the pockets are forgiving. I think we've seen plenty of examples so far to make us realize that. Yeah. Where's the cue ball going? Fluent, not flawless. It's only about getting the job done. He needs to shine today, Shane Van Boning. Not only in this match, but also in match number four and five, where he will be playing a doubles match and a singles match to finish the night off. going back and forth between the players from USA. I think a little clenched fist there from Van Boning. Said an awful lot. Sometimes he's been accused of maybe not being as up for this as other players, but certainly tonight, everything seems to point to the fact he wants it badly. Oh, they've been working so hard. They've been on the road as a team. They went to Moscow, they went to the Euro Tour in the Netherlands. Johan has been organizing boot camps, assisted by US Open winner, World Championship runner-up Jeremy Jones. 
Yeah, go on. Now, this is the man. The seven, new kid on the block. Europe the world number break. one. Three, three. Albanian assassin, Klenti Kachi. 90 years of age. Nice water veins he has. Very accomplished snooker player. A legend in the making. His first ball contact in the Moscone Cup is a letdown. Failed to make a ball. Now Skyler Woodward checking if he likes the distance between the cue ball and the two. Does he like to jump? So, he's attacking the one. If you miss it, make sure to hit it on the left side, the one. On the right side, he risked to jump the cue ball off the table. Yes. Yeah, good stuff. And he managed to draw the ball. Drew his rock for shape on the two. strike Skyler Woodward he's playing so good so confident and deep down Alex we were saying this right from the off you felt the Americans had to make a good start and they've got a chance to do so a chance to take the lead <coughs> and to plant a seed of doubt again Shaw missed the one ball in a previous wreck. They got the point, USA. Kachi failed to pocket the ball in the break. And Woodward looking to steal this point. And it shows with Woodward the work that he has done. The confidence that he uses because his cue action has become better, straighter, more precise. for the first point of 21 available and yet already it's nail biting a little bit touchy this would like to stay away from the eight ball that these pockets have shown tonight I expect him to make it we're always looking for pivotal moments turning points that expression tells you an awful lot is that the first of them what a blunder Pressure was mounting on him, He's losing position gradually. Uh, Skyler still digesting that mistake, that miss on the seven. of Albania is he going to notch a positive yeah! number one in the world gets the rack on the board and Europe again edge ahead this time at 4-3 
maintain that winning position. I expected him to make it. I missed it by quite the margin. Three balls and out for Eklenti Kachi to get his first point of this Moscone Cup. He's the first of a new generation of players in Europe. We have Zielinski from Poland. He'll be making his mark. Feder Gors just won his first Euro Tour. And then next in line, who knows, Sanjin Peglivanovic from Bosnia Herzegovina. Yes, there's a production line of talent on this side of the Atlantic. Is the Moscone Cup going to stay here? Well, it's very early to make any predictions, but I'll tell you what. If the Americans were to lose this match, well, Europe would be cock a hoop. Now, a team event. You cover each other. So Billy Thorpe's close friends with Woodward. Parks is rock. And he can recover. Good shot, good shot, a winning shot, Phil. Still seven balls on the table, but the work is done. He got in line, now he needs to stay in line. That's a good shot. Perfect. Doesn't need to chase position. Go forward a couple of inches. Six to be played to the same side pocket. It's easy to overhit this shot, to hit it a little too low. It's very reactive. The cue ball on this table. Well, of Billy Thorpe, the USA captain, Johan Reichenk, said he can run you over like a freight train. Hard to see with the balls as they are, but he's going to be derailed here. He doesn't possess the smoothest of cue actions. But he has a lot of fight and he has been working hard. And it shows. This has been, this could become a perfect break and run. The bluegrass badass looking to level the score here. Forcing a deciding wreck. The intense competitor that is Billy Thorpe, loving it. Marked up and he shouted into the microphone there, unleashing the emotions. This opening match is all about one single rack of pool. Basically, it's on a knife edge. Every duel up for USA. Can he get it done? they've never admitted. I think some of the players who've already been involved now are quite happy to hand over the reins to the two who will be involved in the rack that decides match one. So Jason Shaw in the I previous rack right. that he played, he Here missed the contact on the one with a pretty straightforward jump shot.
nice and easy on the break. He popped it. Good vision on the one, but the two ball has spoiled the party. Yeah, spoiled the Europeans party, but save the Americans bacon, maybe. Too much distance between the balls and from the two to the pocket to attempt a combination. He's don't know exactly what he's looking at. The combination ill-advised, I would say. Rather go for the bank. Playing the double to the corner where the pink four ball is. One thing we can say without fear or favor, he's got a very attacking mentality. Extension called. So he's lining up for the bank. Either pl played with draw or sidestepping the cue ball to avoid the double kiss. No, in combination. The bank, okay, good shot. Good shot. For a moment there, I thought he was attempting the combination, but it's a beautiful bank, a beautiful opening shot to put himself in a winning position. Yes, that could be money in the bank for sure. And his European colleagues. The remainder of the balls, Alex, beautifully positioned. Yeah, but the tricky thing is the big difference with tennis, for example. With tennis, if you hit a winner, you have the point. Shaw has played the winning shot, but still needs to connect the dots now. chances are vaporizing this opening match I'm sure Woodward will be thinking about his missed seven ball here's history repeating itself remember as I said before Shaw responsible for potting the winning nine ball at the end of the last Moscone Cup at this very venue a couple of years back. Is he going to pot the first decisive nine ball of this year's event? Hard to imagine he won't. He's on the wrong side of the eight though. He's a pocketing dynamo, dynamo is the other. Glaswegian player Graeme Dot needed to leave it a little longer. Two thousand people silent. Not anymore. In those circumstances, Jason was no sure thing. But he came through, and that means Europe have drawn first blood. Marcus Schmadt's side, the defending champions, lead the USA 1-0.